In this video, let's have a look at how to use the new symbols feature in Thrive Architect for WordPress. And let's get started right away. I have a page here and I've got a content box here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this content box and click on this little save icon and choose symbol. So I want to save this as a symbol. I'll call it demo symbol. And I'll also add it to a category which I'll call demo. All right, with that done, let's click save. And this saves this box as a symbol. And right away, what you'll see is that when I select this box, it will select a frame around it and make it orange. That shows me this isn't a regular element, this is a symbol. Now, what does this mean? Well, first of all, I can insert this symbol anywhere I want. So I can go to symbols right here and include demo symbol. And now I have a copy of this on my page. Now, similarly, I'll go over to a blog post. So as you can see, we have a page on the one hand and here's a blog post completely separate. I'll also drop a symbol here and I'll put the same symbol here. All right, let's save that. And now I'll go back over here and I will make an edit. So I'll edit this symbol right here. And as you can see, I have the option here, edit as symbol. This puts a frame around it. And now I can do whatever I want within this frame. So for example, I can change the text. I can maybe change the text color. And let's also drop some new stuff in here. Let's, let's just like add an icon, for example. Let's go like this, put a nice little heart icon in here. And I can make changes to the heart icon. I feel like we should make it pink or something. You get the idea. I can do whatever I want here. So I can change the styles, I can change the background, I can add or remove elements, I can change the text, do whatever I want. And then when I save this, here's what happens. As you can see, the first instance of this symbol has also updated. And if we go to our post, if we preview this, here it has also updated. In other words, a symbol is a design component where every instance of that design component always stays the same. So you make a change in one of them and all of them all across your website, whether they're on the same page or on a different page, on a landing page, on a blog post, all of them update at the same time. When it comes to working with symbols, there's two more things to know. First, whenever you select a symbol, as you can see what we did before is we clicked on edit as symbol. When you click on edit as symbol and make a change, that change will apply to every instance of the symbol. You can also choose to unlink the symbol. When you choose to unlink the symbol, it becomes a normal element. And that means you can basically use it like a template. So now if I make a change, let's say I change the color, I apply that and nothing happens. The rest of the symbols, all the other instances of the symbols stay the same because I've now unlinked this box from all of my other boxes. So that's the thing to keep in mind, right? Whenever you do want to make a change to a symbol that doesn't affect the others, you can unlink it. But as soon as you unlink it, you cannot relink it, right? Instances of a symbol will be linked and in sync. If you remove one of them, it stays removed. Another good thing to know is that you can go to your Thrive dashboard in WordPress admin. And right here in templates and symbols, you can manage your symbols. So here you have your symbols and your content templates in a different tab. And what you can do here is you can see your categories. Each category will be one of these white boxes. You can move your symbols. You can duplicate them. You can remove them. You can also edit them right from here. So when you do this, the symbol will open on its own page. So even outside of a specific page or post, you can open the symbol. This is what it looks like. And now, I can work on this symbol, make whatever edits I want, and that will reflect on all instances of this symbol. So right here is where you can manage, rename, move, and so on, and get an overview of all the symbols you've, you've created and all the symbols you're using. Now, maybe your mouth is already watering with all the possibilities that this opens up. And basically, any time you want to have a thing that is synchronized across multiple pages on your website, a symbol is the thing to use. Now, let me give you one example of how this can be useful. Let's look at one of my podcast posts right here. In a podcast, one of the things that we always have in the post is this section here with subscription buttons. 
And this is just something we copy and paste every single time. But what happened, for example, is that it's not really called iTunes anymore for, for Apple. It's called Apple Podcasts now. And there's no way for me to update this button on all podcast episodes. I would have to go through each individual episode post and change this button. It's pretty annoying. Same is if I ever have to change one of these links or something like that, it's a bit problematic. A symbol is the perfect solution for this. So here's an example. I've added this to the bottom of the page. I made a content box right here and I put these buttons in here and I can now save this content box as a symbol and I call it, can call it podcast buttons and save that. And now whenever we publish a new podcast post, we simply insert that, this symbol and if we ever need to change anything, we can just update the buttons or the links or even remove a button, add a different button, do whatever we want. And it will update on every single post where we've added this symbol. So that's one example. And I'm sure you can think of many others. And in fact, I would love to know what ideas you have and how you are going to use symbols on your website. So let us know by leaving a comment below. And also if you have any questions about how this works or you need to know more, just leave your questions below and we'll be happy to answer. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.